Hey, what's up guys? So let's start with the workout. Today we are doing an extensive push day. I am following an extensive intensive workout routine, which essentially means you switch between days with lighter weights and higher volume and days with heavy weights and lower volume. I train six days a week, hitting each body part twice a week. So today I am starting with flat dumbbell press, three sets of 10 reps, making sure that I am doing a controlled movement all the way through, squeezing at the top to really feel it in my chest. Next up we have chest flies, two sets of 10 reps, this is another great chest exercise staple, it hits both lower and upper pecs, you can do it on a bench with dumbbells but I'm using a chest fly machine here, make sure you bring your chest forward and straighten your back and really squeeze at the top. For the final chest exercise, I am doing cable crossovers. Again, a very popular and effective chest exercise. It really helps to target the bottom of your chest for that nice rounded finish. When you do it, make sure you keep your back straight and push your chest forward. I absolutely love this exercise. It's perfect to finish off the chest part of your workout. Moving on, we are going to start to focus on the shoulders. Here I am doing lateral raises, two sets of 10 reps. This exercise helps you tone your shoulders and it focuses on your delts and also a little bit of your traps. This is a volume exercise. Don't use a lot of weight because it can cause an injury. Instead, use light weight and higher volume, focusing on the movement all the way through. Next exercise is something that I really love doing, rear delt flies. Again, two sets of 10 reps, remember to keep your back straight. This one really helps you sculpt your shoulders and give you that 3D look that we all want. Uh, but it's also a great exercise as a preparation for a more complex compound movement like deadlifts and bench presses, so I really do recommend it. That's why it's always good to throw in an isolation exercise for your rear delts. To finish off the workout, I am going to focus on triceps. If you want big arms, don't forget your triceps. This muscle group is bigger than your biceps, so in order to grow your arms and give you that bigger look, make sure you focus on it. Here we have bar push down, three sets of 10 reps. Choose the weight that you are comfortable with, lock your elbows and squeeze at the bottom when doing this exercise. To introduce more variety and encourage the body to grow, I am doing cable pushdowns, three sets of 12 reps. When you do this exercise, make sure you rotate at the bottom to put that pressure on your triceps. This is a really great exercise. I love doing it because I really feel it at the end in my triceps. I really do recommend it. For some cardio, recently I focused on low impact steady cardio. I finish off my workouts with 20 minutes on the treadmill. I push the incline all the way up to 12 and keep the speed at 3. I usually throw a podcast on or my Spotify music playlist and it really helps me to relax after doing weightlifting. So now let's show you what I eat post-workout and over the course of the day. 
Sorry for the lighting on this one, I filmed it at 5am but for the first meal of the day I have a sesame bagel and 250 grams of low fat cottage cheese spread which I make myself. Just add some salt and pepper, some herbs and a few teaspoons of low fat yogurt to loosen up the cheese and turn it into a spread. This is one of my favourite breakfasts, if you guys want a recipe let me know in the comments down below. I also take a few supplements, creatine and collagen, vitamin D, CBD oil which I just started taking but I really recommend it and some fish oil. This is a great breakfast that keeps me satisfied until lunch. For lunch I have burgers, I use 500 grams of 5% pork mince and again a bagel with a small dollop of barbecue sauce. This is a really filling meal, as you can see it's really high in protein with moderate amount of carbs and low fat. I eat two three times a day and follow intermittent fasting so my meals are usually bigger to keep me full until the next one or the next day. Currently I am staying in calorie deficit so I can cut a few kilograms while focusing on building up my strength. For the final meal of the day I have a small watermelon, this is one of my favourite things to eat, really high in water content to keep your muscles full but also very high in vitamin C and vitamin A. As you can see I finished the day with 1585 calories, 197 grams of protein, 135 grams of carbs and 29 grams of fat. I make sure I keep drinking water during the day and following this diet it helps me to cut and build up my strength. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, drop a like and remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next one, peace!